It's my life, take it or leave it, set me free. What's that crap? I'm gonna know it all. I got my whole life, you got your own life. Bring your own life and set me free. Mind your business and leave my business. You know everything, Papa, know it all. Very little knowledge is dangerous. Stop bugging me, stop bothering me, stop bugging me, stop fussing me, stop fighting me, stop yelling me. It's my life. Hi, my name's Steve Gaskell, and this is my blog for vision support and challenge coaching. Currently on the on the blog, and I, I hope you've enjoyed it so far, um, I'm talking about communication skills. And I've talked a little bit about tell, sell, discuss and empower. And I, I dare say most of you can relate to those in one respect or another. You know, when you're talking to somebody yourselves or if you're in a conversation, whether you are, you know, one of those individuals that, that tells, you know, there's not much debate. You've got to be uh, quite succinct about it, direct. You know, there's an authoritative, me you know, measure to how you do, you know, how you communicate and how you do business, or whether you're um, a seller, whether it's about buying in, getting uh, empowerment from, you know, those those that you're with, um, you know, talking about benefits and consequences, and selling the notion of of, of your communication. You might be um, a discusser. You might be somebody who likes to embroil in a discussion of of the uh, um, you know the topic um, of creating unified purpose with with people and hence having that discussion because you might be the you know the thinker and they may be the technician in terms of uh, what it is your your conversation is uh, is flowing about um, probably uh, time consuming um, and often this is the notion where you get all talk but no action. And that's not to suggest that that's the way you are, but that's that that's what you will have heard and and something you'll be familiar with. Or are you somebody who empowers, uh, you know, allows others to, to to create responses to think for themselves? And I dare say you you may find yourself using little segments of each in in terms of your daily communication. Oh, well, today I want to talk about specifically effective listening. So not so much about the tell, sell, discuss or empower, but more about how you respond whilst you're, being, uh, whilst you're receiving uh, communication from somebody else. Now to explain it, I want to put it down into, uh, break it down into a one minute segment. Now the time scale is fairly irrelevant and you know, we can break this down into whatever you feel uh, fits. It might be a 10 minute piece, it may be a series of one minute bits. It's really irrelevant. The notion of what I'm going to talk about is what you should probably all relate to and that you can actually say to yourself, yeah, I'm guilty of that. I know for one, until I was made aware of this particular notion, constantly guilty of it. And even to today, you know, I've got to work hard to make sure that I'm not actually, uh, you know, talking over or not listening effectively. And I'll explain why as we go along. Okay, so let's take this minute then. First 20 seconds. First 20 seconds, you listen attentively. You're probably doing everything right. You're fully, fully engaged, fully interested in what the other party is saying. But then as that 20 seconds goes into the you know, to the 30 to 40 second period, the second 20 second stage, your mind starts to wander. You're not listening attentively now. You're thinking about what's been said. But then you're starting to register, oh, okay, so what does that mean to me? How am I going to respond? What's my response going to be? And you, you're going to spend a little bit of time thinking that through before all of a sudden you then launch into the final 20 seconds. And this is where you all go, yeah, that's me. You'll start to respond, but the key is you're responding before the other party has even finished or concluded what they're saying. And, you know, in a conversation, I guarantee you'll have all seen yourselves doing that in one, 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 one disguise or another. Listen, formulate, interrupt, and that's what it is. You're interrupting. So you're not learning, you're not listening, you're not gathering information from the other, side, the, the other party. You're more intent on getting your opinion across, what it means to you, how it makes you feel. And as a result, we don't listen effectively. Now, I try to work at this and I still, you know, I get it wrong today. But I'm very, very conscious of the fact that if I'm listening to somebody, I've got to shut up. What I want listen to talk about now is some of the strategies you can use to actually become an effective listener. The first and primary one, really, is to concentrate on what is being said. 
really really start to think about you know what what is the meaning what are they saying listening intensively you know not wandering not starting to formulate your own response and certainly not interrupting but listen concentrate and it does take concentration because your mind will wander and it's then bringing it back knowing that you you, you actually this person's got something to say and I'll, I'll probably learn something from it but concentrating ways in which you can help yourself concentrating is you know sending out those subtle um you know messages from your your demeanor that you're interested you're listening good solid eye contact you know looking the person in the eye and some people are, are, are uncomfortable with that uh, but it might be a case of you know actually look at the eye and, 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 and by way of making it a new habit say to yourself oh what shape of the eye what color is the eye you know what's the eyes doing so that you don't feel that you're you're piercing and looking into the eye uh, caution though measure that with you know against actually getting distracted and not listening to what's being said. It takes a little bit of time and skill, but it's something that can just set you in play. You may just be looking just slightly above their eye, right, the bridge of their nose, um, so it doesn't feel quite so, um, you know, pressurizing for yourself. All of these things then start to send out all of these subtle little messages that uh, you're listening. Another really good way to do it is, is what we call mirror their facial expressions. Now, I'm not suggesting for a moment that, you know, you start mirroring specifically what they're doing because that will be picked up and it's too, uh, you know, um, uh, overt a way of, of, of trying to, to build a level of rapport. And what you want to do is just subtly, you know, watch if they, if they move an arm or if they clasp their hands together. You might do something similar, not exactly at the same time to the same, you know, um, ferocity as them, but just subtle. Subtle notions that you you mirror what they say. They may smile, you smile. Their tone may change, change your tone slightly. They may talk slowly. They may have pauses. Then you can start to bring that into your response, into the way that you start to respond in the conversation. And all of these things start to build that rapport. But they also help build and cement that understanding that you are listening and engaged with what they're saying. Now, the next one I talk about is don't interrupt. But I temper this against seeking clarification. You've got to, you've got to be prepared to, to understand what they're saying. And in order to do that, it is going to need to be interrupted. But the sole difference on the interruption that we talked about earlier, where you interrupt and then you start to fire in your, point, your thoughts, your views... That's, that's where it's unconducive. That's where you start to lose the conversation. Instead, paraphrase. Seek clarification through putting what they're saying into your words. So I've got this correct then. So you're saying this, this, this and this. Um, so I understand completely what you're, you're, you know, what you're telling me. These are the facts. Have I, got, have, I got the, you know, have I got it right? Do I understand fully? You know, is this the story? Is this the case? And you'll find that that's a really good way then of, 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 again, building that rapport, building that relationship, but effectively understanding what they're saying. Effective listening. What's your feelings? And again, I temper this with another one, is, is be intelligent about your emotions. Now, again, mirroring, you know, you may have certain feelings and anger comes through frustration, happiness, whatever the case may be. And then you've just got to be intelligent about your responses. You know, mirroring to an extent, uh, but making sure that you know you, you're you're not going overboard. You're not you're not finding yourself um, being emotionally embroiled into a conversation, which then starts to leak out as as interruptions. As you know, you then start to have your opinions come through rather than listening to what's being said. In the coaching world, this is key because you often will make assumptions uh, about another individual before you've even got to the facts and emotions can do that and actually if you go back to one of my earlier blogs on the chimp paradox it talks about the chimp the human and the computer uh, and, and you'll understand there what I mean about being intelligent about your emotions another way to do uh, to, 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 to perform effective listening is to is to try and see it from their perspective classic example talking to teenagers 
How many of us get frustrated because they know everything? They've got the answers to everything. They've got the, you know, more attitude than you'd care to carry. They were worse than we ever were when we were kids and teenagers. But actually stop for a moment. Put yourself back into their shoes. Start to think about how, uh, it, the, you know, the, the, the affects them, what their perceptions are. And you start to see things in a different light. And actually understand things in a different light. So, during this particular very short video blog, uh, my first one, so I, I really do um, uh, uh, respond and will respond to your comments as to whether or not I'm getting this right in terms of how I'm putting across my views and ideas and thoughts to yourselves. Um, I hope it's I hope it's something that can that, that can help. And if nothing else, just stirs up a little bit of grey matter to make you stop and think the next time that you're in a conversation. Um, it's, it's powerful stuff. You'll be surprised what you learn when you start to listen. And share this. Share this with other people. Because through sharing this, if two people in the same conversation are both effectively listening, that's powerful stuff. You'll learn a huge amount. Um, I look forward to uh, uh, chatting with you again on my next blog uh, in the not too distant future. Until then, um, thanks very much.